Hello, William Lee Adams, WillieBlogs.com. <laughs> I cannot sing, but Jean Gu Macroy, he can sing. From Suriname to the Netherlands to the world, he is ready to slay and he is ready to grow at the Eurovision Song Contest 2020. Should we listen to his song and react? <laughs> Let's do this! goodness the wait has been long but the video is here and this is very real two things to say first Debin is not here he is abroad and I am at work in London and if I don't film this on my own a video is never gonna go up because I don't know what we're gonna meet so I'm gonna go ahead and proceed and we'll get his thoughts later Second point, I have seen a version of this. I saw the grainy footage that leaked and was on a day, ad.nl, but this is my first time watching the actual official music video in full quality live. All right, hitting play. He is on the floor. Looking at pictures. When I'm sad, that voice I am unreasonable, just like a little kid. So paired back, the world. raw. When I'm alone, I am defenseless, vulnerable. Just like the boy I was afraid in the dark. Don't take it personally. Don't be offended. Don't mind my mood. The church organ. Changing like the weather. Oh. Personal I reflection, self reflection. Oh, I'm getting older. He is in focus. It ain't what I thought it would be. This is so emotional. You don't even want to talk when this is on. The planet spins around. Oh. A little too fast for me most of the time. Feeling out of place, the world spinning too fast. My thoughts are flickering just like satellite. Ooh, harmony. There is that southern gospel. Take me to church. Okay. Bit more production now. You know, there's a slow build, but it's a build. I'm getting goosebumps. Seriously, can you see? Not always what you think it'll be. You gotta learn to live with it. One day I'll find mm. that beat is mind. like a heartbeat. And then I'll stop being afraid. See, now you found some people. You will make it to the night because you found your people, your tribe. The less I know. It is uplifting. He has been through the dark and he is coming out the other end and he has his friends. He's got his girl Yannicka. He's got his girl Esma. He's got his girl Renska. Yes. Yes, touch your heart. Oh, this is building. This is a crescendo. Boom. That's the climax. That's the climax. Wow. He saves it right until the very, very end. This song just gave me a lot of feels, a lot of chills. If you watch these videos, you know I'm always yammering when the video's on, but I couldn't do that because I was so gripped by what was happening. It's paired back. It's paired back so that he can be the center with his voice and his emotions. 
The Netherlands last year won because they had a song that touched people. This is reaching out and I'm ready to grab his hand. Okay, some Sistine Chapel going on. I am ready to make contact Jean Gu. The song, as he has said himself, is about learning that the path to happiness is not always straightforward. I read that on wooblyblogs.com. And like the song's title, it's about growth. And it seems to me that the meaning of this is kind of if you want to grow, or rather a part of growth, is accepting that happiness does not always look like you envisioned it. There's kind of a gap in all of our lives between the life we thought we would lead and the life we do lead. And I think acceptance that the two don't always line up is an important first step in slaying your life. I think for me, like one of the biggest lessons is to stop moaning about what you don't have and start celebrating what you do have. Because all of us have something. It may not be material. It may be something inside of us. He says, through every high and every low, oh, oh, the more I learn, the less I know. Look, you're going to go through some stuff and it's not always going to make sense. But by opening up, hashtag open up, and sharing your feelings, you can find people who have experienced what you've experienced. You don't have to be so lonely. And he has given me so emotional. Oh, my God. You don't have to be lonely when you're searching for happiness in your life. This is just so touching. I love the kind of gospel feel. I'm not particularly religious, but you do get a sense in this song of something bigger, higher, whether for you that is like, you know, a higher being or simply like awareness of each other. You can get all yogic, like a sense of, I don't know, just awareness about other people. And his personal journey is relevant. I'm sorry. Some people say, oh, why you got to bring up his sexuality? The fact is, he is a gay man who grew up in a conservative country. He went to the Netherlands to study music, yes, but also to find his, his, himself, his place in the world. He's spoken a lot about being a role model for young gay Surinese, Surinese, forgive me, people. So there is something very autobiographical here. This is a story not just about people's struggles, but about Jean Gu's struggles. Because I'm sorry, you don't give people chill bums by reading a script. You give them chill bumps by pouring yourself into a song, and I think that's what he's done. This feels very naked at times. Early on, there is very, it's almost acapella, actually. It's almost acapella at the beginning. He is front and center. He is naked and exposed, but I'm sorry, the view is very good. And I mean that metaphorically, don't get dirty, because you see his beautiful heart and his emotions. Whew, am I coming down with coronavirus? I'm like... I think there will definitely be people, and in fact, I know from the comment section on weeblogs.com, there are people who do not respond to this. They don't like it. I just hope Dutch viewers remember that it doesn't matter who dislikes you at Eurovision. What matters is who likes you. Look at Salvador Sobral. He won by a huge margin, and so many people wrote that song off. They said, oh, nothing's happening. This is dull. I'm sorry. This has texture. This has emotional texture. This has depth. If you listen to the lyrics, which frankly I do think are important, when judging the song, you will see that there is a lot of substance here. It's like a poem. This is a poem set to music. This song reminds me of an interview I did like 12 years ago. I interviewed this Nobel laureate, Doris Lessing. I was in her house. We were talking about her success. And she said the most fascinating thing, and I have just Googled it. She says, yes, she says, when you're young, you think that you're going to sail into a lovely lake of quietude and peace this is profoundly untrue. And let me tell you, my girl Doris Lessing is right. And this song really hints at that. Your life is not going to work out or follow the path just as you expect it to. But happiness and discovering happiness is all about recognizing that, accepting that, being grateful for what you have, finding people on a similar journey, and then slaying. I am just feeling so empowered. The crescendo at the end, that is the climax. That is the moment. I just got to thank Jean-Gu. You're giving me all the feels. I think with Hans Panakok, Panakuk, the guy who did the common linens, I think this is going to be absolutely beautiful. The video has a perspective, and on that vast stage in Rotterdam, I can't wait to see how they translate that perspective. They could do something totally different, but Jean Gu's gonna stand out. Jean Gu, he gonna break the curse of the host nation. This is not coming at the bottom. This is coming, hopefully, near the top. It's just so good. I think this is so quality. It is so quality. And yes, I know we got a lot of ballads, we got a lot of sad boys going on this year, but it's okay.
This could be the ballad of the year. Is this a ballad? This is not a ballad. Slow song of the year. I don't even know how to describe it. Dark soul song. Let's go with that. This dark soul song with a crescendo. In any case, I need to go wipe my eyes below my nose because I'm suddenly feeling very congested. That's what I think. What do you think? Are you growing along with Jean Gu's grow? Do you think this song showcases the best of Jean Gu? Do you feel his story? Do you feel his vibe? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and we will see you later. Bye!